What's going on guys, my name is Kyle of Techademics and today I'm going to show you how you can port forward your Minecraft server. So assuming you've got Minecraft server already set up and installed, the first thing you want to do is go into your server settings file and where it says IP address you're going to need to copy your local IP, well your IPv4 address into that. So what we're going to do is go into the bottom left corner, right click and go into command prompt and we're going to type in ipconfig and it's going to load up a load of internet settings so the only thing you need is your IPv4 address so what we're going to do is go ahead and copy and paste that number and we're going to paste it into the server IP click file save and we're going to close that down so once we've done that we're then going to go into our internet uh, router settings so where it says default gateway we're going to want to copy and paste that number into the into any web browser so we're going to remove the command prompt and we are going to basically copy that number into our web browser so we're going to log into it and then we're going to want to find the port forwarding settings for our router now it will be different for every single router so all you need to do is google it um, google how to do it with your router and then you want to come back to this video so once you're back uh, or if you know how to do it you then want to go to where uh, it says port mapping and we're going to come up with a name um, so we're going to type in MC server and then we're going to want to create the port itself so we're going to do that right now click port application and then we're going to want to name the well the port application so yeah, again we're going to call it MC server but in lowercase so we know the difference and then the external port for Minecraft itself is 25565 so we're going to fill in every single box with this port here and the protocol will be either TCP or UDP now if you only have these two options you will need to create one with TCP and another one with UDP if you've got both like I have just select that and then click save so once we're back here our MC server uh, where it says mapping name it's already filled in and this is basically the part where we actually activate that port itself um, so we want to type in a name for it like I've already done then application we want to go down to what we've just created so MC server and then you want to click on this drop down box here and you want to select what you, uh, your internet router is so mine's already selected and then we're going to click save so that should all be done uh, the final thing you need to do really is run your server and if you want people to join it just give them your local IP address um, and then they should be able to join but just be careful who you give your IP address to because if they don't like you and then they can DDoS you and do bad things uh, which obviously ain't good so that's literally it, it's pretty simple um, so if you do have any questions just leave them below and I'll reply to them as soon as possible uh, but if it did help please leave a like and that's everything so thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video